Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from ThinSuite. In this video, we learn how to customize Webflow rich text with Sweet Text. This is a technical review of Sweet Text. I say technical because we are going in Chrome Inspector to see what's happening behind the scenes. It's really not that technical. Even if you don't like JavaScript or you think of yourself as somebody that just wants to see visually, we're looking visually, we're just looking at HTML here. This is going to give you an understanding of what we're doing when we are actually applying a class inside Designer. So we're actually going to do this on the homepage content, which has an impressive set of unique classes and unique elements all throughout this rich text. So let's go and open up Inspector. And here in Inspector, we are going to see our W rich text element. Let's go and start opening up these P's and we'll see our H suite text. Now remember inside designer, this text, let's go back to the homepage here. This text is wrapped H suite just like this. Over in inspector, we get the span, we get the class H suite and we have its Webflow interactions inline styles being applied to our text, sweet text. Let's open up this next paragraph and this doesn't have any sweet text. This is just normal Webflow rich text with a URL. And let's go to see some custom sweet text here. We have the beginning of the story. We have our color blue span, class P color blue. P underscore, we got the P hover, the PS through, we have our draggable content and look at that, the, the library that we're using is adding additional classes to this element for us. So we're getting a whole bunch of different things going on here for our custom JS driven objects. Let's go see how that looks inside designer. If I go, there we are. We are draggable, 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 draggable. And on the live site, we are draggable. And there we go. So that is what is happening here. And you can see that these values are changing as we're dragging it. So these are live, it's happening. These classes are being applied and they are working with the HTML. Check this out, this is super cool. We have applied IX avoid to every letter inside here. Trigger on class, every single letter has its own Webflow interaction and it is triggered on the class level. So anything with that class, including every single one of those letters, gets this Webflow interaction on hover. Let's go back out and see every single letter is wrapped in a span with the class IX avoid and it has all of the inline styles that are being created with Webflow interactions. Excellent. This is all that, great, and these values will change as we hover over them. The Webflow interaction is working, it's live, totally ready for use. IX explosion, same deal, we got that class being applied, and this is just normal rich text. Great, so we have opened up Inspector, that's all we need. Let's go and check out the JavaScript that we need here. Oh yeah, it's just a single script file, that's it. You just have to add this script to your site. You don't have to write any JavaScript, it is all here packaged. You can use it completely inside Designer. This is the technical overview. If you like this, if you have more questions about this, please ask us, reach out. We could do more of these videos if you are benefiting from them. That's effing sweet.